Greetings all, Phil here, SC400 pilot, doing my uh, mod, quote unboxing mod all in one setup for the AR drone 2.0. Uh, the craft is clearly a little different from the 1.0 as most of us know, however, you'll find this real problem doing any type of wiring or setup. However, I've had no problem doing this. A lot of people doing their DX8 conversion or converting over to the receiver will note that there's a problem because there's no actual way to run down through there. It's too tight. Although there are a few channels you can get through, which you see I've successfully and easily done back here with my under lights. And uh, for above, you'll see here my receiver. And you, this one cable clearly comes from the receiver back only to right here to control the onboard lights on and off. But you'll notice there's no other cables anywhere. That's because what I did was I was able to take the cable here, route it down into the hole with a slight X-Acto knife cut, then run that slight, ever so slight cut, as you can see if I can get it in the light here. There it is, down the side just to where the square is. Wow, it looks a lot deeper there than it actually is. You can actually barely see it like that. And then use the natural spacing already in the bottom of the hole for removing the cross member. And then you go into the bottom, which has remained undamaged, untouched, and no, as you see, cables running anywhere. That's totally stuck. I placed a vinyl decal on it. And there's my lighting system. I did order the new round light because the 110 is much too large. And I will make everyone aware what it is when I do a video on it, a flight video. But I wanted to give a brief on the uh, unit on how you can easily set up wires. You still can fish through it. You can easily mount your DXA, get your high-end radio connection. I think everybody's moving up and buying the radio kits because these, quite frankly, don't work worth a damn when you uh, try to use them with Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi is not constant. It's intermittent. It has other issues, and although the craft flies 100% effective and is quite nice, it actually has some intermittent, uh, oh, I don't know how to really explain it, like a kind of like a mist, just ever so slight. But then again, I'm extremely picky. So there's my uh, unboxing conversion over to the DX8, and the best way to not have any wire showing anywhere, still get your lights on for night flight, and come up with a real effective craft that you can have a lot of fun with. More to follow as I get more work done to the drone. And uh, hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. Seen some real easy ways to package her and set her up. And uh, a contrary also to popular belief, everybody's rushing out and getting these new batteries. Uh, saying, oh, it needs a special battery. It doesn't come. You can still use your same batteries with the 2.0 that does have the battery balancer to power your lights. So uh, enjoy. Hope some of this information was useful. Don't run out and buy a bunch of different batteries you don't need. And, of course, after extensive research and dozens of batteries, I found the best battery you can buy is the Hyperion 1325C and the Thunder Power 1350-25C. Those batteries cannot be beat. Uh, if you think they can, spend the same hundreds of dollars I did and compare every single one of them out there. <laughs> Have a great day. Hope you enjoyed the vid. Check out my others and look for custom hulls with this one on the way. Thanks again. Have a great day. Keep drones flying.